Hey guys, um, I, oh, my camera will open. Uh, it took me forever just to actually set this thing up. But, um, hey guys, yes, it's me, Sarah. Um, I will be, um, doing videos on being single. It's not a curse, it's a blessing. Every Saturday, I'm not gonna give out no time or anything just this gonna be um sure can you shut my door i don't think i'm actually putting this back put it back oh uh, just sit right there Okay. Sorry about that. That is my daughter. But anyway, um, I'm not gonna set out no time or anything on when I'm going to be posting up the video. It just just make sure you look out for it on Saturday. Every Saturday throughout this month. I'm not for sure if I'm going to continue to next year. Um, I just know it will be every Saturday for this month in December 2015 and that's it so wherever guys speak to me that's what I will be doing so at first I wasn't for sure how to do this um I don't know but I'm just gonna do it anyways and I was for sure how to um let me see start with the ladies or the fellows so i'm going to start with the ladies just because at the bottom and the fellows at the top so if you see me looking down i am looking at some notes because i can't remember everything some days i can but not all the time but anyway, for those that do not know me, my name is Sarah. I am running a website called Life After 24-7. Life After 24-7 is a website for anyone that wants to be helped in child abuse, relationship, suicidal thoughts, and lust, and so on in life. In order for anyone to be helped, you will have to have a desire to be helped. And when you have a desire to be helped, you are allowing God, allowing Jesus Christ to create you, mold you, and shape you to be a new creation. Without God, without Jesus, um, without Jesus molding and shaping you and creating you to be a new creation, there's, there is not, there is, there isn't a new creation in you. You can read the Bible so much. You can um, have someone pray for you or whatever. But you have to be willing to change um, through in your mind, your body, and your flesh. So, I'm just going to go to the point. This video is for being single. It's not a curse. It's a blessing so I have some issues on what I've been seeing and God spoke to me to put it in out in public and to share it through my first posts and being single is not a curse it's a blessing so for the ladies I have to say this <laughs> Stop assuming your brother in Christ like you just because they address a comment on some words that you have spoken on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever social media is out there. Is out there. <laughs> um, your words on what guys. On what God's spoken to you. And don't just stop assuming. Like you can't even 
put anything on Facebook. You can't even do anything because you all in your feelings just because someone make a comment or just because someone like what you have said. You probably thinking, oh my goodness, he like me. No, 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 no. That word that you post on Facebook is not for someone to like you or to grab. This my husband. Yes. Thank you, Lord. No. No, no, no. And no. Definitely no. And another issue. Um, please, please, please stop coming to church like you are in a club. You are not in a club, you are not at home, or you are not anywhere else that's going to please God by dressing like you are in the club. And you should know how you should dress when you go to a church. You should know how to cover yourself. Stop showing your cleavus, your chest, wearing tight clothes just to get attention, thinking someone going to grab your attention. You're not even just grabbing attention. You are allowing someone to fall in temptation because guys is a visional person. And if you go into church with a tight dress on and your chest is out showing tight jeans, barely can't even breathe, everyone that come to church throughout that Sunday is not a Christian. Everyone come to church throughout that week or however days you go to church is probably is a Christian or maybe a new beginner or maybe someone is strong, you still have to be concerned about what you are wearing and who going to be around you and how you are covering yourself. I'm not saying start dressing like a, a nun and wearing them things over your head and stuff like that. All I'm saying is respect yourself. If you're not going to respect yourself and you praying for a husband, how can you be respectful and you don't even respect yourself? Cover your chest. Cover your body. Be respected to your past. Be respected on your surrounding. Be respected when you come in church. Don't assume that you are in the past and thinking that you just come to church just to get a husband or just to get whatever you want to prove your point. Church is not about that. Church is to grow. Church is to gain relationship, not to search for a husband and not to search to attention by wearing tight clothes. So, um, trying to figure out what else on here. So, yeah, I think that's it for that part. And for fellows, fellows, fellow, 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 fellow. Okay, all right, guys, your turn. Yes, it's your turn to be pointed out and to see what you need to prove on. <laughs> all right, um, for the guys. Hmm. I don't even know if I want to say this. Okay. Lord Jesus, help me. Okay, you know when you get close to being in the service at church and your pastor say, everyone stand up and greet and say hi to your neighbors and whatsoever. And a person you probably next to or down the aisle. Um, maybe a person that you know but you don't really know. And they surely not your sister as a blood type. But your sister in Christ. Stop hugging the girl's woman so close together. That's, no, no, uh-uh, no, 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 that is another way 
that you get females in they feeling when you hug them so tight and so close up. I mean close up. Like super close up. Like close, close, close up. You get it. But anyway, ladies, I mean fellows, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Why? Because one, that's disrespectful. Two, you are allowing that person to assume, to get in their feelings, and to think that you like them. But maybe you don't even know that she's doing it. You just enjoy hugging, but you don't know what's going on in that person's mind by you hugging them so close and hugging them too tight and just being too close. It's not even a hug. It's a romantic hug as a... I can't even explain, but it's not no friend hug. You know the friend hug on the pack. And you know the hug when you know someone, but actually when you do know someone and y'all not even no kin to get no kin or no blood and you're not even a sister or a brother, you're just a sister or a brother in Christ. So yeah. Please. Stop Okay. Because you're not in no courtship with that person. I think you should I don't even think you should be hugging a one being in a courtship because that is giving the enemy opportunity to open up a door by leading your flesh to temptation. And that's not a good place to be in. So I'm done. That is my first video being single. It's not a curse. It's a blessing. All right, I'm going to leave this video with a verse. Proverbs 22, no, sorry, 23, verse 3. He leaves me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leaves me in the path of righteousness for his name shape he leaves me beside the still water he restore my soul he leaves leaves me in the path of righteousness he's he I mean in righteousness for his name shape um allow God to restore your mind, body, soul, flesh, everything that's part of you. Don't get caught up in this world of thinking that you have to be with someone or you have to hurry up and get married or you just desperate just to be with someone, just to be with someone. Grow your relationship with God. And enjoy your singleness. Don't assume that you are alone. Get out. Enjoy the world. Travel. Do whatever God is calling you to do. Because whenever you get married, you're not going to do whatever you want to. So enjoy the time that you have now. And please God. And all your might. Your will, your emotion, your spiritual, and your heart. Thank you, and you have a blessed day. Bye.